Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to this week's episode of Weekly Wicks and Wax. I did not make one last week. I had finals. Time just got the best of me, and I honestly wasn't melting and burning that much. And I say that much in air quotes because I separated my Scentsy, my vendor wax, and my candles and other such, and I still have a lot of stuff. So without further ado, Let's get into it. If you're here for the Sensi, awesome. Let's start with that. I melted a lot of good stuff this week. The first thing I did was from the Epcot International Flower Garden Festival, right? Yes, Epcot International Flower Garden Festival Blossoms of Fragrance event. I melted Heirloom Rose. This is in my club. This is beautiful. This is that old school powdery, dare I say, granny rose fragrance. But I love that. And I have three warmers and an air purifier in my bedroom. I took this bar and I did four cubes in both Salernos that I have, which are flanking my TV with my dresser. This is so Good. It was not overpowering. It just smelled like it was a beautiful spring day. The windows were open and I'm outdoors. And there's a beautiful rose garden. As simple as that. Perfection. It is my favorite rose Sensi has done. It is a beautiful scent. It was not overpowering. Lasted a couple days. It's fabulous. And that one in my club. I love Heirloom Rose. Not going in my club is Mint Fields from that same collection. Listen. I just don't, I just don't like it. I, I'm not a huge Mint fan to begin with. And this is just authentic spearmint leaves and like those crushed mint leaves in a giant field. It is exactly what you think. And it is exactly what it smells like in bar form. Not a fan. I know it's super strong. People love it. It's just not for me. This is an older Bring Back My Bar in Coconut Palm. Now listen, I got the Bring Back My Bar kit. I knew I wasn't going to like this. I don't love coconut. I didn't care for this. This was a very creamy coconut milk fragrance. I actually have my last cube going in my bathroom. Now I strictly melted this in my bathroom. And I would just alternate every couple warms of different scents. I would put this in there just to change it up and use it up. It was fine. Again, it just smelled like a very creamy coconut milk. Not really a scent that I gravitate towards. But if you like coconut, that's for you. This bar. It is on day four in my bedroom. Wildflower Cotton. Now, what I did with this bar, I did three cubes in my one Salerno, three cubes in my other, and two cubes in the Simply Diamond. I have the Simply Slate, which is the Father's Day gray warmer that I did in my last video. I love. I have not worn Sandalwood Tangerine yet. I'm letting my bars cure, just like I let this cure for a little bit. If you're not sure what, like, curing means, I know I talk about it a lot, just letting the bar sit. Just don't use it. Just let it sit flat. Let those oils marinate with the, the wax, and typically they perform better if they sit for a little while since they're freshly poured. This is so good. It's a little bit masculine, a little citrus with a very clean laundry, but it's not laundry forward. It's like a masculine laundry. And it is a beautiful. I turn my warmers off in my bedroom at night. I like to sleep in pitch black. Turn them on the next day. It keeps going. Now, it's on day four. It's not super strong. You get whiffs of it when I walk in and out of the bedroom, but it's not crazy strong. I will change it tomorrow. But this is going in my club. It was so pleasant. I will say, a lot of people say it's similar to Sandalwood Tangerine. I'm going to melt that one maybe next week. I want to let it sit for a little bit longer. And then I'm going to compare the two and add one of either in my club to see. But it's either going to be Sandalwood Tangerine or 
wildflower cotton in the club. So we will see. I did, in my office, I did strawberry lemon cake. Typically, I only do one bar in my office, but I know this is a little bit of a lighter scent. So I did two, and I'm so glad I did. This performed for days and days in my in my office with two bars. It's not a strong scent. It's not going in my club for that reason, but it was very pleasant, rich strawberry buttercream. I do not get matched lemon at all. And I have some more bars. I might mix this with squeeze the day to enhance the lemon a little bit. Or maybe a cube of this, a cube of sugared strawberry, and a cube of sugar or squeeze the day in the same warmer. Those three, I might try that. But anyway, I really like this. It's just not strong. Like I said, like a rich strawberry buttercream that lasted two days maybe in my office pleasantly, but I had to use a lot in the warmer. So, <gasps> Straw strawberry, raspberry hibiscus tea. Okay. I've talked about many times, winterberry apple tea does nothing for me. This does nothing for me. It, the tea scents just don't do anything. It smells like a raspberry tea. You get that tea note for sure. You get the fruitiness of the raspberry. A little tartness from the hibiscus flower. It's nice, but it didn't do anything. It was strong. I could smell it couple days in my open space. It's just not one that I really loved. This one, I don't think I'll club it, but I've really enjoyed it. Peace, Lily, be with you. So I have two bars. I actually have it going still right now. Definitely a green apple forward floral. This is like, I want to mass market a floral fragrance. What fruit should I add to it? to make it appeal to more people than not. And I feel like that's what this is. This is very much, I'm Bath and Body Works and I wanna create a lily fragrance that appeals to a lot of people. Add some green apple to it. That's how I feel. It's a very fruity forward white floral fragrance, which is really pleasant for spring and like warm days. I think this is one you could melt with company coming over and then they'll be like, oh, what kind of floral scent do you have going on? So I did really enjoy that, but I don't think it'll go in my club. I finished a laundry liquid in Fiji flower. Um, I've talked before. I don't really feel like the laundry liquids do much. I use unscented Tide Pods and I use the washer whiffs and I feel like those add a good bit of scent, but I don't feel like the laundry liquids really add anything to to the set. So that was my Scentsy. So if you're only here for Scentsy, thank you so much. I will see you next week. Now we're going to dive into vendor wax and then candles. Not a ton of vendor wax this week. I'm just really trying to get through it and I'm almost out. Uh, super tarts. I did stance, which is pear, pomegranate, and pound cake. I did this in my bedroom. This was okay. It was very pound cake forward. It was definitely a very rich bakery. None of these lasted though. This was gross. Pizza time. This was basil, raspberry, and tomato leaf. I didn't really pick up on that. I, it just really smelled like weird herbal. I didn't love that. Lemon wedgie, lemon peel, blueberry, and cheesecake. This was just a very tart lemon bakery. I did not like that. Lemon curd, rosemary, palo santo. I also did not enjoy that. It was just very herbal. Redemption, blackberry, and peony. I really enjoyed this. You just couldn't smell it. Yeah, and now what I smell in the clam is like plastic. Fire, blue sugar, palo santo. I actually did this in the laundry room of all places. I know strange, but I just wanted to use it up. And it really was just like a more woodsy Palo Santo. I really didn't get any fire. So there's that. I did from Candles by Victoria, bamboo and white grapefruit. I love this. This is very fresh, very bright grapefruit with that green bamboo. Really pleasant. Really enjoyed that. I did just two. I thought I did three. Yeah. 
I did three scent shots from Fantasy Wax in Jam and Strawberry. Sure. Jam and Strawberry, which is Strawberry Jam and Sugar Cookie Royale. I love Sugar Cookie Royale. It just adds this really rich, buttery sugar cookie to whatever is with it. So in this case, Strawberry Jam. It was pleasant. I did the Bee Charmer from Teddy Bees. This really just smelled like a clean laundry. Nothing crazy. I did, oh, I did a little sample or a little tester of Marvel Nine Realms in my bathroom. Pretty undetectable. I did a Trig Tart from L3 in Strawberry Jam. Could not smell that. From L3 Bluebeard, this is just weird. Our masculine version of Pink Mustache, Blue Sugar, Pistachio, and Savory Bakery. Yeah, I don't know. I don't love that. This I do love. Teddy B's PB&J. This is fresh made jam, peanut butter, toasted bread, drizzled honey, BBW type. This was poured on September of 2021. This is great. This is like a toasted like wheat toast with a drizzle of honey. It's beautiful. I don't think it necessarily smells like a PB&J, but what it did smell like, I really enjoyed. Two four packs from L3 of Fluta Tarts and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Today is October 3rd, Cranberry Marmalade. Today is October 3rd is Palo Santo, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Toasted Marshmallow. Again, I really didn't get much from that. Duck Feet, which was in a big BAM bag from Super Tarts. Uh, I liked this. This is from Dessa's. This is a Build-A-Bar. And this is Pumpkin to Talk About and Beach Nights. This was really, really nice and really strong. I got this in September of last year. The Beach Nights is like that typical salty sea air toasted marshmallow. And the Pumpkin to Talk About was really just a creamy pumpkin without the spice. Odd combo, but it really worked, and it lasted a couple days. I really enjoyed that in my office. This from Fantasy Wax Cinnamon Glazed Baklava. This was one of her uh, snack bars. I was like, eh, that's not exciting when I popped it in the warmer. I could not get enough. The cinnamon sugar note in here really just made this like a craveable scent for me. I really, really enjoyed that. I finished A Daylight from Kringle in Saltwater Taffy. I just had this in the bathroom for ambiance. Nothing crazy. Ooh, okay. So I just finished an Aloe and Palm Wallflower, and I replaced it with Rosewater and Ivy. This Aloe and Palm, so good. The notes on this are fresh palm leaves, clean eucalyptus, and vetiver woods. I'm just dumping these back in here. That is such a good scent, you guys. It's a little masculine, a little cologne-y. It's beautiful, and in my entryway, the aloe and palm filled up. It was so good. They have it in room spray. They have it in shower gel, lotion, all the things. Definitely try it. I really enjoyed it. All right, that was it for my vendor wax. Now let's move on to candles. Now, I did sacrifice this candle to the candle crock because halfway through, it stopped performing. Iced Lemon Pound Cake. Here we go. This is Sugary Glazed Icing Pure Lemon Zest and Fluffy Pound Cake and Whipped Cream. There's nothing left of this at all. I had this in a crown rock for like a week in my office. It performed so well in there. It just stopped performing in a candle form. About here, the wicks got really low. I love Ice Lemon Pound Cake. It does not smell like the body care. It does smell like the hand soap, though. I have the hand soap in my bathroom right now. Love. This was so good. It just did not burn well for me. Soft Blanket from Yankee Candle. Yankee Candle is great at making unscented candles. I mean, it was literally unscented. I finished this Fig from Boy Smells. I am not a fan of this brand. That There's just no scent. You only burn them for like two hours and the flames are huge. Not a fan. Same, not a fan of this brand, Anamorphine from Overrose. They're trying to be by Rado and it really irritates me. I I don't like a copycat, so this looks just like by Rado. They don't perform like that though. Super sooty. This was 
like a strawberry lemonade scent, and it was very artificial when I burned it. Oh, you guys. Sicilian orange. I'm still working on this, but I did completely finish the three wick. Now, let me talk about this. Burned great all the way down, extinguished itself. I started these at the same time. So if you're very curious about length of time, I finished these at the same, I started these at the same time. I still have about half of the Kringle large and I finished the three wick. I burned these in the same space to amp up the throw. Well, I did this in my kitchen, this in my living room. I've talked about it before. This is not my type of scent. The herbal note just leans a little odd to me. But I will say it was a pleasant background scent when it was a little cool out and I had the windows open. So it like circulated the scent. I feel like when I burn this in my house and the scent just sits, I, I don't like it. But if it's like circulating and I get like the scent of the fresh air mixed with this, it was pleasant from Kringle. Otherwise, this is a pass. I won't reorder it, but I will still continue to burn this and enjoy it on those cool days. Hopefully we still have them. It was over 80 degrees today. Not about that. But <gasps> thank you guys so much for watching. I know that was like the end, but it wasn't a super... It was a lot of stuff, but I didn't have a lot to say about everything. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you so much. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.